Well, yeah, those are really not the signs of rattlesnakes I'm talking about. I'm really talking about more the season, the time of year, and the warm temperatures. Both of these can make really good times to find rattlesnakes on the move. In fact, just last week, the temperatures and the weather was perfect, and I found these snakes crossing the road. So let's take a quick look. And look at that guy. Of course, this is your typical canebrake or timber rattlesnake down here in South Carolina. This is probably, I don't know, maybe two years old is my guess. Walk up here. You got a car? Snake's leaving. Good, how are you doing? Pretty good. You gonna be here long? Well, why? I got a big truck that brings through here. Uh, no, not long. Okay. Probably about 40 minutes, though. So. Okay, I'll be gone. Well, that truck just uh, came by, and we lost the rattlesnake. Oh, well. Kind of a nice sunset. Kind of a nice rattlesnake. I've been seeing the signs of them around. Uh-oh, it's moving. Hey, now. You just slow down there, buddy. You are beautiful. Now. Yeah, it's not rattled yet, so that's kind of cool. How close are you going to come to me? Look at you. Look at you. It's a canebrake rattlesnake, of course. Uh, this is uh, usually the time of year we see them most often in the fall. October, warm days in October. Kind of having a standoff. I'm not sure what's going to happen. I need to go get my selfie stick. You're such a mellow snake. What are you going to do? I'm going to get you across the road properly, though, before it's over and done with. You have not rattled yet. Just as long as a selfie stick. Look at there. We will see you rattlesnake. Not even one rattle. Awesome. Outstanding. All right, we have been waiting for this. Look at that baby cane break rattlesnake. Hey, buddy, what is going on? You are so pretty. I'm so happy we saw this because earlier, like about 30 minutes ago, we saw an adult cane break that had been road killed or shot or something. It was not in good shape. little hisser, huh? Well, he's all puffed up. Why don't you go on into the woods, buddy? Wow. What an intense little rattlesnake. This actually may be last year's baby. Go on now. Do I need to go get my stick? It's 
pretty dang cool, man. Always great to see a rattlesnake, a live rattlesnake. All right. Come on now. Come on now. Look at this chunky baby here. Look at that tiny little button there. Little rattle. Cane break rattlesnake. Which is the same thing as a timber rattlesnake. You wouldn't think that little button could make so much noise, but man, can it ever rock and roll. Take a look at how this snake puffs up and exhales in its nervous energy as I pass by. All right, we gotta get this puppy off the road. sure if you can see it but that right there is venom from the cane break rattlesnake on my telephone. I find most of these rattlesnakes in a place like this. There is new growth in a clear-cut area or field then a road next to a nearly mature pine forest. As the seasons change from summer to fall these rattlers transition from their summer feeding areas over to the places where there is more protection from cold temperatures. They often use stump holes or hollow logs for shelter. The smaller snakes show up in the late afternoon when the shadows are long. They might be basking or watching for lizards crossing the road, but it seems like they go back in the same direction from where they came from. Tell me in the comments if you think these theories are right. And here is another video of rattlesnakes. <laughs>